Hey guys, what is going on? Buzzer here, and I just recorded this video, I forgot that I had my mic not being recorded, so you know what happened? I spent 25 minutes talking to myself, now this video is at 2 times speed. So, now that's out of the way, um, so, I decided to do a, uh, building a freighter, uh, yeah, building a freighter, and it turned out pretty good, it, it looks cool, it's big, yeah, and it's called something like a big fighter thingy, I don't know what the hell it's called, but I ended up calling it the SS Badland after Badland Studio, the people who made the game, and there is some really loud music, and the game, music's all loud, so I'm going to turn it down for a bit, um, so, as you'll see, they've added a new uh, HUD or UI, and it looks good. I, I like the look of it. It looks good. Uh, good job, guys. It's good job. Um, uh, but I did also read that this is just a placeholder. It's currently a placeholder while it is in alpha. I'm guessing beta might still be in a bit of alpha -y stuff, but it's, you know, it looks good. I, I like this little way of things. Um, it could be better. Like, for some reason now I can't find the, uh, build new ship option, but that's besides the point. It, it's, it's fun. I think I'll just make a new world and end up doing it. But, um, as you can see, uh, they've added a bunch of new shit. Uh, all the UI is different. Uh, they've added a little on the right, is that the right side? No, it's the left side. The left side! They have all the stuff there and it just looks so much nicer now. The launch button is also at the bottom now. I don't remember if that was there before or not. But, that's beside the point. See, the thing is, when you're doing a post-commentary, I find that I get bored rather quickly. And this is why the video is at two times speed. But the thing is, why would I want to talk to myself for 12 minutes? I've already done it for 24 minutes, so why am I doing it for 12 minutes again? I don't know. Really, I should be watching Naruto right now, but I'm not. But, oh well. So, they added a bunch of new stuff and subsystems actually now show up in a separate window when you right click on the uh, part and go subsystems they are uh, show up in their own little window now um, I'll talk more about that when it shows up um, and I was just reading the uh, Steam community page and there's a bunch of new features that are coming through guys uh, remember this is alpha um, you can just imagine what they're gonna be bringing they've already done this so far and just I think this is the 10th version. I'm guessing that's what 0 0.0110 means. A eh? Well, you've got pre-alpha and then you've got alpha. This is alpha build, so obviously they had a pre-alpha build and all that jazz. But, this game is beautiful. It looks beautiful. And all that jazz, and I'm just rambling on, rambling on, rambling on. Ah, but what I did want to talk about was that, guys, um, I'm pretty sure there is a way to share crafts. And if there is, we will be doing a subscriber craft spotlight where we'll be doing um looking at the different crafts what people have built and just seeing seeing what people have done because i like looking at what people have built it it looks cool um i don't know why it wouldn't look cool but it looks cool for numerous reasons i mean ah here's the new subsystem so when you right click on the part and select subsystems the modules and the systems available will show up so you can just click on the subsystem you want and it will drag itself over to the module and then you go it, it just shows what uh, subsystems you can have um, I like that if you guys can just make that a little bit better but keep it in that sort of way that'd be great um I can't place anything on that I don't know why I tried to but that's besides the point this thing isn't gonna have any weapons it's meant to be a freighter that carries cargo and all that jet so um yeah ha having that I reckon that's that's perfect what they need it just needs to look a bit nicer um, Need to be touched up a bit. I know it is currently a placeholder, so guys, remember, alpha placeholder. <laughs> Magical stuff can happen from here till release. Well, for release. That's what I mean. Is that what I mean? I don't know. You guys decide what I mean, because I'm, like, gonna go drink a bunch of Pepsi later. Ooh, Pepsi, you're cool, aren't you? Yeah, I'm cool, I know. Anyway. But, um, you guys are supporting me well. Um, I gained 12 subs in the last 24 hours, so I thank you guys for that, um, it shows that I have some people that are actually willing to watch videos by me. That's a bit weird. I mean, who wants to listen to me talk? To, listen to me talk for twenty odd minutes, twenty thirty odd minutes in a video. Um, I probably wouldn't, <laughs> unless I was a bit more funny. I need to be more funny in these videos. Um, a bit more interesting, you know. 
It'd be interesting. Um, if I could be do that, that'd be great. But I don't know how to. Um, as I said, uh, someone did suggest that I try interactive subs a bit more, and I think by doing the craft spotlight review thingy, looky thingy, um, that will actually help with uh, subscribers being interactive and all that jazz. Um, so guys, if, if once I work out how to do all that stuff, we will be doing some craft thingies, because that's cool. I mean, what isn't cool? So yeah, we'll be doing that. I'm pretty sure it's just a file where I can just right click, copy, paste, blah, 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 blah. So if we can actually do that, guys, um, tell me uh, tell me if you think it's a good idea. And I will be make, I'll make a new series called Connect Void Ship Spotlights, where you guys will be able to show me your ships. Um, also, I think there are mods for this game. If there are mods, I'm probably going to go have a look at some of them, because I reckon they'd be really cool. Um, mods are always good in indie games, because it shows what the game can do, and then a lot of those ideas are actually implemented into the game itself. Like, if we look at uh, Minecraft, um, a lot of the mods that were used were implemented by the Mojang team, and now they're actually officially part of the game. So, And also with KSP, that's becoming part of it as well, I'm pretty sure. Some of the parts that are being taken from mods and being used in the actual game in an edited sense, so we're not actually copying anything. You know... But, that's besides the point, we need a lot of energy to this thing. As you can probably tell, I need a total power of 31,000. Oh, I have a total power of 31,000, and we have a needed power of like 25,000 or so. Something along those lines, but, um, that's besides the point. It's a big ship, it's meant to transport cargo everywhere, um, to our base. Which, for some reason, always disappears. Yeah, it sucks. Um, but... Once they implement all these new things, um, it's gonna it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun path to follow. It's one of those things where you um one of those things where you grow up with, I guess you could say. You're following we're following the development of Kinetic Void, and hopefully that will be a good um let me think about it, say this. Hopefully that will be a good uh, path we go down following the progress of Kinetic Void. Um, I really hope it's a great journey. Um, I'm sure the developers hope it's a great journey of making the game themselves, and I'm hoping that they hope that other people enjoy it, and that it gets big and they make money. Well, doesn't anyone want to make money? That's besides the point. Um, uh, I like to see game developers as not making money. Well, that's more indie developers. They want to do it because it's their passion. Whereas you see a big publisher like EA, they're not really game developers, but they make a shit ton of money off games because they can because they're dicks <laughs> i shouldn't really say that but i didn't before something happens to my channel uh but that's besides the point um i love indie developers because they just add they're not controlled by a bigger company unless they're getting uh unless let's say they're getting a bit of money from a publisher uh, i think and mm, no, no, that's fine uh but, yeah, um, also, what I did want to talk about is doing a uh, interview with Sean, uh, the head, I'm pretty sure he's the head developer of Kinetic Void and the CEO of Badland Studio. I don't know, I'm not, I've not done my research properly. But if you guys um, want me to do an interview with him, be sure to leave a comment below. And the questions you want me to ask him, um, that's very important, the questions. I'm going to try set up a interview with him um, probably in three to four weeks. Um, this really depends because I have a lot of shit going on the next two to three weeks. Um, I have exams coming up. I have, I'm, uh, working for the next two whole weekends and all that crap. Uh, money's always good. Um, but yeah. So, I've got a sort of, I'm about, right now I'm sort of balancing, uh, I'm balancing work, uh, YouTube games and homework, school Exam, study, blah, 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 blah. Now, I, I hate it, but in the end, I'm not really too stressed by it. Um, exams don't stress me, so I always manage to pass, so, no. What's the point? <laughs> um, but as you can see, this thing, I actually end up getting this thing to about 100, I, I get up to 400 kilometers um, per second, and that is f bloody fast. That's about three times... That's three times 100 kilometers. No, that's four times. I'm retarded. <laughs> I can't even talk properly. Um, three times. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Usually, I'm pretty good at maths, but that's besides the point. Um, yeah. So we'll be doing that. Uh, 
interview, hopefully. Um, I reckon we can get that set up, guys. If you guys give me enough support, I will be posting something on the Steam community forums for Kinetic Void, which developers often check if you guys... Went, I'll tell you guys when I've done that, and if you guys could go drop a comment on that saying, yes, we'd like to see one, we'd like to see this, and then we can get the developers on board, and we can just have a... The inter interactiveness between uh, the community and developers gets closer by that point, but gets closer by this, and it just provides... A greater theme, oh baby. Yeah, I just had a really blank mindset. But anyway. Ah, yes. Uh, Badlands. If you do watch this, guys, can we have bigger engine thingies? Because these little trail things. Why do I want little trails coming out of an engine that's going almost 400 kilometers a second? I want something more dramatic. Go boom! You know, I reckon it should just light up and it should be like a massive ball of flame and jazz and, I don't know, something cool. Also, the ability to actually look out from inside the ship, so like you're actually sitting at the cockpit, that'd be that'd be pretty sick. I mean, honestly, who wouldn't like that? Um, that'd be pretty sick. But anyway, guys, this video is coming to an end. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a comment and hit that like button. And guys, if you hit that like button too hard, I'm not paying for any screen replacements uh, or anything like that. I may send somebody a piece of glue, and that's about it. And if you would like to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see an interview between me, myself, and Badland Studio, uh, place a comment and a question um, involving that. And I will see you guys next week on... Wait, next week? No, I'll see you in the next episode of Kinetic Void. And goodbye, guys.